Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you enjoyed the last video. Just heading up to Parisha right now. It's a beautiful sunny day, another bluebird. Hopefully we're gonna get in a bunch of sick riding clips today. We're getting up there way earlier than last time, so we're gonna have way more time to ride and hang out and get photos and videos and stuff. So hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys watch my videos and you aren't subscribed, you've got to subscribe right now. That's mandatory. So today's conditions are like even better than yesterday's. There's absolutely no wind, no clouds in the sky. Yesterday was a little bit windy. You guys probably noticed in the audio, the wind kind of mucked up the audio a bit, but there's no wind today. So today's going to be a way better day. Never really made much of this style of content. So this is all new to me. So be, uh, be gentle in the comment section, please. We're trying to work our way across the mountain to get off Front Valley because Front Valley's packed. So we're trying to head out to over here. I think that's Mount Perisher. Haven't really done much riding up there, but the lift's open, so we're gonna head out there, get some riding done. Americans and Canadians watching and wherever you are in the world we do have snow in Australia check it out generally the conditions are pretty good like you'll get a lot of sunny days out here this week seems to be clear skies and no wind so shouts out to mother nature for putting on a good show today we've just taken a moment to uh, stand up here take in all this view if you guys can see how's the serenity we're really high up here I don't know how many how high we reckon I, I don't, I don't 18, know. Eighteen hundred meters. We're a little bit lost right now, but it's an adventure. We're on a holiday, so it's a snow adventure, Australian snow adventure. Since we can't go overseas because ScoMo won't let us out the country, we're over here, and we've got to figure out how to get back over to here, Front Valley. So I think we've got to bomb down this way, and then take Happy Valley T Bar up, maybe down and then yeah food time so we're 2,000 meters up here where we are we've made it back over to the Leichhardt quad taking it up gonna go back down the front valley get a feed and then I think we're gonna go find a little patch of snow we can muck around on maybe make a DIY kicker or something
another awesome day on the mountain guys today was better than yesterday it was less wind it got a bit warm though but we're about to head back to the station now to kick back in the hotel room you may think knock off work beers are good or train beers are good but honestly Bundaberg ginger beers after you've been riding the mountain mate beautiful Ran into a fan on the mountain here, guys. Woo! So, what's up, Will? Yeah, Cheers for supporting. Yeah. Having a good day? Yeah. Hell yeah. Too. Have a good night, mate. Yeah, thank you. You too. So today is actually our last day on the mountain. Just taking it easy today. Taking in all the scenery, making sure I uh, breathe in that fresh mountain air before we have to head up back to Sydney. This is just like a snippet of like the things I would do. I just had the time and like obviously the income to be able to do other stuff for this channel. It'll come though, it'll come definitely. I just wanna kinda show you guys that there's more to life than what might meet the eye. Like there's more to life than just going to work and working for your boss and making your boss money and stuff. You can enjoy your life do stuff and you don't need drugs or alcohol to have fun there's a lot more life to be lived than just kind of working and hating your job like get out there change your situation change your perspective make sure you enjoy your life because if anything this whole covid thing has taught me to just like go and do things if i want to do it go and get it done don't wait because yeah life is short guys back in the room right now it's been kicking back try to get some dinner it's pretty horrible we got some pizzas from a joint in Jindabyne. i'm not going to mention the name because i don't want to i don't want to blast them like that but it's like one of the most og pizza joints down here and it was terrible pizza. pretty unhappy with that but right now we're about to head out have a walk around. It's quite common for kangaroos to knock about this little bit of land here. So we're gonna go for a walk, see if we can track down some kangaroos for you guys. They teach you how to track kangaroos when you're in high school here in Australia. So if we can find some kangaroo droppings, we should be able to track down these guys. It's not kangaroo droppings there? No, it's kangaroo droppings. They're black. So they're fresh? I don't know how fresh they are, but they're black and they're should definitely we find out? <laughs> They're not cube shaped, so they're not, um. Wombats. Ah, we're on the right trail here, guys. You've got two different species of kangaroos. You've got the greys, eastern greys, Australian eastern grey kangaroo. Yeah, I think they're mainly in the east. And then you have the inland red. The inland red kangaroo. And the reds are much bigger and more aggressive. If they kick you, they can put a hole in your chest the size of a football. And they've got claws and they can kind of rip your stomach out from the inside. We don't want that to happen tonight. Do you reckon they're the same ones as before? No. No, these are way smaller. That was a big male the other night. Do you have those pretzels? Yeah. Huh? 
Come a bit closer if you can. Oh. There's a whole mob of kangaroos. They didn't look too, they're the eastern greys I'm pretty sure. They didn't look too aggressive so we'll follow them. Full moon anyway. Oh look at them all. Oh my god. Where's the dad? That guy there on the far right. Do you reckon that's the dad? He stood up. Oh really? Yeah. Oh I can hear him growling. Can you hear him? Yeah let's get out of here. <laughs> I don't want no smoke with no kangaroos, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you reckon that's him, the, the, the leader of the pack? Maybe, he's the biggest. One of them's just eating, they don't care. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, that looks like the dad, man, I'm out of here. Look at him, man, he's standing up. Every time we manage to get close to these kangaroos, they just take off. Two nights ago, we went for a walk and we found them. We found two of them. One was a male, one was a female, and he was quite large. And we got like three, three meters away from him. But he started to growl, so we decided to dip. But um, he didn't seem to care, I mean, until we got closer. We didn't really get to get too close to these kangaroos outside. They kept taking off. This brings us to the end of the video, guys. If you've made it this far in the video that means you've enjoyed it so make sure you leave a thumbs up drop me a comment below if you guys are new here make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you've been watching my videos and you aren't subbed yet you need to subscribe right now that's mandatory that's not even a question make sure you head on over to instagram follow me at enochism if you want to see more content keep up to what i'm doing until next time thank you for watching the video Thank you for 10k. Before I forget, thank you so much for 10k subs. If you haven't watched my 10k special, go and check it out right now. Link is in the description. Shouts out to everyone that subscribed. I'll catch you all in the next video.